I would like to thank Coachables International for inviting me to their global launching program. I think there's a critical gap area between formal educational curriculum and real learning, which helps prepare an individual to be a good citizen of the world in its true senses. The initiative taken by Coachables International to fill in this gap is indeed laudatory. There are a few things which are not communicated effectively or imbibed by students meaningfully in formal classroom teachings. They are, one, the boundaryless educational format where no distinction is made, say, between science students and humanities students. For instance, why shouldn't a science major be given easy access to music and arts and vice versa for humanities students? Two, the importance of the preservation of the environment, especially in the presently alarming situation with regard to climate change issues. Three, view nature as a living laboratory wherein poetry, philosophy and science find a common ground. The courses being undertaken by Coachables International, such as the art of storytelling, creative writing, uh, personality development, etc., can go a long way in fulfilling the above needs. From a personal viewpoint, I consider it a great fortune to have come closer at the fag end of my career to the Tagore model of education, having been closely associated with only scientific institutions in all my professional life earlier. Rabindranath Tagore believed that education begins at the very roots, namely nursery and primary schools, and through open-air classes in the midst of nature, he tried to impart a boundaryless educational foundation that knew no barrier between caste, nationality, and choice of disciplines. Thus, music, poetry, art, etc. were as much a learning experience as entomology, animal behavior, study of uh, nature, and, and so on through, uh, for instance, uh, the behavior of social insects, etc. So if Coachables International can fulfill this need for empowerment of students, for quality development, for human resource development, this will go a long way to, in fact, achieving the goal that they have set themselves for. Finally, COVID did wreak a havoc to our educational system. But one flip side, which is a silver lining, is that students got used to online teaching. This way, one can reach out to a cross-section of international students across borders. Uh, and in that respect, too, the initiative of Coachables International is expected to be highly beneficial to a vast segment of the international community. I wish this venture a great success. Thank you once again.